Hey, Brian Miller here, back one more time with just a few frequently asked questions about the Movo VXR10 and the answers. So how do you know if the mic is recording audio? That's a really, really good question, and that's why you always should do an audio test, an audio check, before you really start filming your video or recording your podcast. What you wanna do is whatever device you're on, camera, phone, computer, whatever, uh, go into the audio settings, go into your, you know, your, your uh, you know, usually there's a button for manual audio or check audio or whatever. Find your audio settings will be different on every device and just tap very, very gently. Just tap on, don't hit the capsule directly, right? So don't don't actually touch the capsule. You could tap kind of the, the side, right? You could tap the side of it like this. Or if you have the uh, wind muff on, you could just tap that and make sure that you're seeing the meters peg when you tap it. Uh, but that nothing's happening when you're not. So watch the meters, make sure that they're really not doing anything. They may just be hovering very, very, very low like this. And as soon as you tap it, you should see tap, 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 just like a fuzz from the from the wind muff just went flying through my face. So you're just gonna tap and you should just see the meter peg each time you tap it. And that way you'll know that the audio is recording. Then you can worry about setting the actual level, which again, I mentioned in a bunch of videos, but you want your level to be between negative nine and negative 12 if you're using manual audio settings. If you're using auto, then it just is what it is. All right, a really common question when recording on your smartphone is uh, what happens when I record and then I can't hear the audio? It's totally silent. Uh, we covered this in one of the other videos, but just uh, to recap, when you plug a TRRS cable into a smartphone or tablet or computer, if that is your headphone output as well as your microphone input, then your smartphone or your tablet, even some computers, not all, uh, more than likely, detect that there are headphones attached because you're plugged into the same port that headphones normally go out of. So if it thinks you has, it has headphones attached and its default settings are to use headphones when they're plugged in, then after you finish recording with your microphone, you have to unplug the VXR10 from your smartphone or tablet or whatever so that you're, you will hear the audio again. Basically what happens is you record with the microphone plugged in. If then you hit play to check your video, it's sending the audio through the TRRS cable connected to your, your microphone thinking that that is a headphone output. But of course it's not. So it is playing the audio, but you just can't hear it anywhere. Unplug the microphone and you'll hear it just fine. So what happens when you connect the VXR10 to your smartphone and you go to film a video and either the audio isn't recorded at all or it's still recording from the internal mics in the smartphone and not from the VXR10? Well, some smartphones don't support external microphones natively, in which case you need to go to a third-party app for your uh, video camera, right? So you need to replace essentially the native camera app well, not replace, but you need to download a third-party camera app. So there are a variety of ones out there. Open camera is very popular on um, on most systems, and that definitely does support external microphones. So if you're finding that with the microphone plugged in, you either aren't getting audio or it's not recording from the external mic, it's still recording from the, the smartphone's microphones, uh, you, you might need, first, check the cable. Make sure you're actually using the TRRS cable. Uh, but then second, if you're using the right cable, you might need to grab a, a third-party app. Does the VXR10 record in stereo? No. The VXR10 is a mono microphone. So when you connect it to a camera or a smartphone that does record in stereo, because TRS cables are stereo cables, essentially what you're recording is dual mono. It takes the mono signal from your microphone and puts an identical signal in the left and right channels. This does not make it stereo. It just makes it mono being recorded in a stereo format. But no, the VXR10 is a mono microphone. How do I attach the VXR10 microphone to the shock mount? Uh, you wanna be careful with these. They are very, very sturdy, but if you apply undue pressure in a weird angle, then yes, you could accidentally break or snap this thing. So uh, just keep your thumb underneath the middle part like this. Take the microphone right in the middle, right in the middle of it, and just push 
down. All you got to do is keep your thumb pushing up from underneath when you do that, and you will not have any problems with mounting the, uh, the microphone to the shock mount. So there you go. And finally, why are you hearing static? Well, there could be a lot of different reasons you're hearing static. First and foremost, you probably just didn't get the connection all the way in on both sides. So you really want to check the connection if uh, if you're you know if, if you're like this, you want to make sure that it's not sticking halfway out like that. That's like sticking halfway out. Make sure it's really all the way in, and do the same thing for the other side as well. That goes doubly so for connecting to a smartphone. A lot of times, if you're using a um, a case on your smartphone, you really need to make sure that connection's all the way in. Another reason you might be getting static is actually wireless interference. It might be Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So uh, try moving to a different location or moving further away from a router or turning the Wi-Fi off on your computer. Like right now, my computer behind me has the Wi-Fi off. My phone is in airplane mode. Um, that might be causing static interference. You don't notice when you're filming, but you hear when you play it back. I've had microwaves uh, interfere with my audio when I'm vlogging on the go. So there's a lot of different things, anything floating around the the air uh, anything wireless that's uh, that's in there could be interfering with a microphone uh, so that's something to look out for and finally if you're having trouble with static and it's none of these other things uh, Movo recommends that you have the grills on the side and that the Movo label is pointed up so grills on the sides Movo label label pointed up and that is supposed to help you avoid static as well. And of course, if you have any other questions, you can contact Movo's customer support. They're really fantastic over there. They'll get back to you. They'll help you out. And if you feel like finding me over on any of my socials or on YouTube, uh, folks send me messages all the time asking me for audio advice and tips and suggestions and help with uh, various problems they're having. And I do my best uh, within my uh, admittedly crazy schedule, uh, kind of traveling around the world, giving uh, speeches and things like that. I do my very best to get back to people and help them out as often as I can, especially if it's about audio, which is just a passion of mine. So thank you very much for hanging out with me for these videos. I hope the tutorials were useful and uh, have a great day.